the theme of this year's conference is adapting to uncertainty. And how do you see machine learning helping us to adapt to a more uncertain market? So the main uh, objective of uh, machine learning is to exactly you know, give a better view on something which is blurred. It is used extensively in uh, the medical world to have a better view on your body through uh, medical imagery. And we want to do the same with all business, with uh, what the, the kind of blurred data we have, use machine learning to have a better picture, a better understanding of today, because if you understand today, then it's much easier to see what's going to happen next. And one of the biggest uncertainties or surprises in the market over the last few years has been U.S. onshore tight oil growth. Tell us a little bit about what Kairos has done to pr bring predictive analytics into U.S. tight oil forecasting. So what we've done is we've collected a huge amount of data coming from the Commission, from the EIA, from uh, environmental agencies, but also adding some satellite data to see what's going on in the ground to be able to have a better understanding of what's going on today and make prediction for the next three or six months. It's possible to do prediction in the US shale because the, the decision that will influence the next of three or four months are already taken. So if you know what people are doing, you will know what's going on. So this is thanks to this technique, which is a lot of mathematics, data science, but also uh, image treatment, that we can have a good view of what's going on today and predict the future in uh, US shale. And how has the Kairos view of U.S. shale growth maybe differed from that of other forecasters? So we have been a bit contrarian. In fact, uh, we see a lower than expected uh, growth, still a growth, but more in uh, 30 to 40,000 uh, barrels per day per month, when most forecasters are above 100. So, uh, which means that we believe that the production in the U.S. Uh, will be you know, 250 less than what the EIA is currently predicting. Mm -hmm. And now, Kairos has brought in various elements from other industries to, to make these predictive models. What's, what's cutting edge? What are you talking about within your company that you would like to, to bring in next? I mean, the, the power of new data is amazing. Combining together satellite data, GPS data, uh, ship cargo data, social network for alert, then this gives you so many ways to look at the same problem and to really understand what's going on. It's, it's amazing. It's a new world. It's uh, like the pigeon of Waterloo. I mean, it's uh, giving us the news in almost real time. And so just one last question. Do you think that uh, machine learning and, and uh, machine forecasts, I guess, might in one day become the more predominant means to, to predict oil growth or to predict markets? So certainly it will be part of, the, of the, the equation. You still need brain, you still need experience, but in anything in terms of forecasting, it's much more powerful than anything that uh, you know, traditional modeling can do. It's much more powerful, so it will certainly be part of uh, any serious player. Excellent. Thank you for joining us here at Oil & Money. Thank you very much for hosting us.